Let me tell you what, this place is absolutely unreal. I'm in Yoho National Park, and this place is absolutely stunning. I'm out here living the van life, and I would like you to come along for the ride. So let's go. Okay, so I am at the Wapta Falls Trailhead in Yoho National Park. I was in Golden last night, had a great day. Watch the video and follow me on Instagram at Sarjank. But today I am in Yoho National Park, and like I said, I'm at the Wapta Falls Trailhead. I'm about to put my new hiking shoes on because I got to break them in because I got to hike in Jasper in two days, like a backpacking trip. So I gotta get these in. I'm gonna try to break them in today. Probably not the best plan, but that's the plan. Anyways, van's parked, going to Wapta Falls. With that being said, I'm just gonna put my shoes on and get out of here. I honestly do feel a little obnoxious hiking in these shoes, being that they're bright orange while they were on sale. And I just kind of went for it because it's a good deal. But then, like, in actuality, I get them. It's like, damn, those are some bright shoes, dude. <laughs> so enough about these shoes. Let's talk about Yoho National Park. Originally founded in 1886, Yoho National Park is an absolute stunning place. It falls on the western side of the Continental Divide and in my home province of British Columbia. It borders its more famous Albert and Rocky counterparts of Banff and Jasper National Park. While Yoho might be slightly less famous as those two, it lacks for absolutely nothing. With stunning and expansive mountain views, rugged glaciers, and incredible fossil bed of the Burgess Shale, Yoho National Park is an absolute must visit. Flowing down from the Wapta Ice Field, the Kicking Horse River flows through the rough landscape of Yoho and it eventually thunders over Wapta Falls. And it's a relatively easy trail and has an out of this world payoff at the end. This was easily one of the highlights of my trip and a place that I will never forget. That was a pretty sweet, that was a pretty sweet viewpoint. But the trail does lead lower, so. Uh, we're headed down as far as we can go. Maybe we can even touch it, who knows. Pretty steep little trail here at the end. I say the end, I have no idea how close I am to the end. But it's definitely gotten substantially steeper from a nice rolling trail into steep switchbacks, but that means the payoff's gonna be good. Yeah, this place is pretty unreal. We can view the mountains in the back. It's a big old falls. Walk the falls, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I wanna get to the, down there. I think the trail's, I think the trail's gonna lead further. And I get right on into this valley. Maybe back up to feel the mist. That would be sweet. Yeah, it's absolutely sick. We're down here on the valley floor. 
I'm walking up to those falls. I'm gonna feel that mist. This is awesome. I just love how interesting the rocks look in the Rockies. At this point, I forged on ahead with only my 360 camera and up that hill into the mist that I wanted to feel the Kicking Horse River coming over those falls for myself. Well, I think we are in luck. Nice pathway here. We are on the mission to the top. As I got closer to the top here, I got absolutely soaked. But luckily, it was a beautiful day, and I look good when I'm wet, so frankly, I wasn't worried about shit. So I spent a little bit of time up here to literally soak it all in. Absolutely beautiful place, and like I said earlier, an absolute highlight of my trip, and a place that I'll never forget. Okay, well, I'm back to the van now. That was an absolutely awesome hike. I'm thoroughly glad I did it. Uh, highly recommend it. Worth going all the way down, unless you're old and can't. But even then, I would still try it. Like, it was worth it. Got all sprayed. It was awesome. I can't say anything more about it. It's totally worth the price of admission. But that being said, I'm going to roll out of here. We're on to the next thing. I would like to go to Emerald Lake, but I have heard rumors of limited parking. And it is Friday, and just judging based solely based on this parking lot, uh, I have concerns that I might not be able to get parking. And then at that point, we will we'll just have to figure it out. There's other things to do. Um, I also would not mind stopping at just like a picnic area viewpoint and having something to eat. But with that being said, I do have something to eat on the go. And uh, yeah, going is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna head on out of here and. Uh, yeah, figure out what we're gonna do. We are at the Natural Falls parking lot. It was closer to Emerald Lake, so we're stopping here. I got my hiking shoes back on, and we're gonna head down the trail. So like I mentioned earlier, I got totally geared up for a hike here, and I quickly realized that this is not a hike at all, it is simply a viewpoint, but nonetheless, it is a pretty beautiful viewpoint right off the parking lot. First I went down the cement pathway, but I quickly realized that I would have a better view if I went right down to the rocks, so that's what I did. I headed down onto these rocks, and I should say, to be careful. They were potentially slippery and an obvious tripping hazard. And the last thing you wanna do is to float through the natural bridge on your own. The natural bridge is exactly what it sounds like. A natural rock formation that essentially forms a bridge. Way back in the day, this probably looked more like a standard waterfall, but over the inevitable passage of time, the power of the Kicking Horse River eventually eroded through the limestone and board a tunnel to the other side. This leaves us with what we are left with today, 
a beautiful and fascinating geological feature and a lesson on what can be achieved with the never-ending persistence of water. After the natural bridge and a short drive, I ended up at Emerald Lake. In an ideal world, I was hoping to put my canoe in here, but after seeing the sheer volume of cars in the parking area, and then seeing how many canoes were actually already out on the lake, I realized that I had almost no interest in being out there. I've already canoed over 200 plus kilometers solo on this trip, and being packed onto this tiny, albeit beautiful, lake just is not my bag. So I did opt for something that was more my style. A walk around the lake and a nice refreshing dip. <laughs> well that swim felt absolutely fantastic. Water was actually quite warm. Relatively speaking, I was expecting like ice cold. It wasn't at all. It was just like pretty good actually. Highly recommend swimming. I would have brought river shoes if I thought I was actually going in the water. Would have brought a bathing suit too, but whatever. Anyways, with that being said, I'm just gonna stand here. I got a drip dry. All I packed was an extra shirt, no towel. So that being said, that's uh that's it for Emerald Lake. And I'll just catch you up on the other side. Maybe I'll go pick up camp. Maybe we'll go to something else. I'm not 100 percent sure. But yeah, I'll pick you up later. Absolutely beautiful spot. So I just pulled up to camp, and I'm in Monarch camp. It was first come, first serve, but there's plenty of sites, probably half full maybe. And it is a Friday of August, I think it's the 24th of August. But anyways, check this view out. <laughs> so that's pretty spectacular. And then actually, if you look the other direction here, we got, A big old mountain behind us so this is a pretty cool spot it's about as far east in BC as you can go uh, tomorrow I'm headed to well I'm headed to Jasper but I'll hit in Lake Louise across the Alberta border Lake Louise up to Jasper so it's my last night in BC for a while pretty stunning spot I'm just, I'm just looking at it now like absolutely stunning spot kind of outrageous really but with that being said I'm gonna head back to camp which is just here I never really left camp. Eat some cheese its think about things, and uh, yeah, go from there. Just an unbelievable day. Actually, unbelievable day, unbelievable spot. I couldn't be happier. This is about as good as it gets as far as van life goes. So in the spirit of the day, I've decided to go for a walk. I'm gonna head down this way. Uh, honestly, I have no idea if it's anything other than just the road we came in on. But uh, my body clock is still like an hour behind because I've moved forward an hour. So I'm not ready for dinner. So I'm just sitting here and I do have service. So I'm just gonna waste time on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Sargeink. Unless I go do something. So I'm gonna go walk, be productive, come back, make some dinner and just uh, check out these views, enjoy them a little bit longer. I 
this is I guess I guess this is a communal uh, cook shack you got a wood fire so need to stay warm I think those are tent sites behind me so that would make some sense anyways I'm just gonna get walking This bridge makes as good of any as the destination. Beautiful views. Milkshake water. Big old mountains. Just an unreal place to be. It was a great day. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what else to say. Like this is just it hit on all cylinders. Today was awesome. With that being said, I'm gonna go back to the campsite. Make something to eat because I'm hungry. Worked hard today, so I'm hungry. Gonna go back, make something to eat, so I'll see you then. So I was just about to sit down for dinner and then I heard a train coming, so I think I'm gonna go over there and look at it and then come back and eat. So that's what we're gonna go do now. Go check out the train. This train is substantially quieter than the last one. So that makes me feel a little more positive about this whole situation. Well, that being said, I'm not sure how great you're gonna see this on the GoPro, but uh, let's cross the street here. Pretty uh, substantial trails so you're close enough to see. So there it is going through that tunnel, goes up through another tunnel on this like avalanche looking chute. And you can see the train goes way up over there. And I think it like loops around up in these mountains, make it less steep. So that angle, that's about as steep as I've ever seen a train. Uh, almost, almost for sure. I don't see that many trains on angles, but uh, yeah, pretty crazy. This is an unreal spot. I, honestly, I couldn't be happier. Obviously, the train is a little bit loud, but just so beautiful up here. Like, just unbelievable. And then... Like, it's crazy. Oh, I can hear more trains. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of trains all night, for sure. Anyways, I guess that's part of the charm of this spot is the trains. But uh, anyways, I gotta go back, eat some dinner, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the night. We are absolutely eating good tonight. We got the chicken fried rice. We got sausages, kind of a weird combo, but mm, perfect for me at Yoho National Park. Mm. Well, good morning. I slept okay. I do not know if you can hear that train right now. But you can hear trains all night. So that was one negative about this campsite. It was rather loud with trains on the highway. But with that being said, I sleep mostly through it. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm not in a huge rush to get out of here this morning. Uh, I got a big driving day. I'm headed up to Jasper. 
but it's Saturday, so I don't really anticipate doing a lot of things because there's gonna be a lot of people. So I'm just driving to my next campsite. So that being said, I am gonna get out of bed here pretty quick, make something to eat for breakfast, go use the facilities, fill up my water bottle, and uh, get out of here. But I am in no hurry, so that being said, I'll get out of bed. So it's gonna be a pretty nice day. So, might as well get to it. Oh, there we go, fresh as a daisy now. I'm not too concerned that my campsite tonight should have showers. And I have not had a shower in a long time. Oh, we're here, take some care of some business. And we'll do a bathroom tour. is not the best. It's kind of funny actually some of these rec sites and provincial parks have a nicer bathroom than Parks Canada. So Parks Canada, you can get your shit together. So I have seen a Parks Canada guy driving around and he seems no interest in taking my money. So I think I'm gonna have to go self-register, but first I got my buck knife out. So I just wanted to cut this string off this tree. This is bad camping practices. And that tree was not really in any danger of getting like suffocated by that wire or rope, but there's no reason to leave a rope tied to a tree. So I'm just gonna take it down, then I'm gonna go self-register, pay for this campsite. Yeah, that's that. And you can see the highway we're headed on. It looks fairly steep to get out of here. We're gonna be riding up Kicking Horse Pass, which is the highest point on highway number one, the Trans-Canada Highway. So that'll be pretty cool. But there is a self-registration booth down here. We overshot it as we had to take out the garbage. But uh, that's not bad. So we got another chance to look at the mountains. I just honestly can't get over this place. Like I've been to a lot of campsites, been to a lot of mountains, but just like the sheer volume of mountain on either side of this is just crazy. It's okay, I'll put it in my pocket. I'm gonna fill it up my campsite anyways. Okay. <laughs> I got two different envelopes here. This one. But I think I'm gonna use this credit card one just to save my cash because I'm running low on cash, which is fine. I have more in the bank. 
but I have to find an ATM. So I think it's easier if I pay by credit card. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use both. But I think I'm just gonna use this one. And with that, I think that's the end of this episode. Yoho National Park, Van Life. Peace.